Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an, an energy of conflict, drama, not seeing eye to eye. Um, this is someone who feels defeated because of the conflict. So they feel as if there's no winning in the situation, and they do feel like egos are very much at play here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Five of Cups, water energy. The Seven of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, and the Nine of Cups, Water Energy. So you could have walked away from this person um, because there's this feeling of they feel like they lost something. Uh, the roles could be reversed, but there is just an energy of someone who felt like they were defeated by the situation and they, they were tired of the games. And this person gave up on the situation and they walked away. And as a result, there is this feeling of sadness, you know, a feeling of grief, a feeling of regret around the situation. Someone does feel like they, they lost something special, um, you know, and it's like something came to the light here. You know, if someone was playing games, playing mind games, it's like there's this feeling of being exposed, um, this feeling of not being able to stay in that illusion anymore so if you walked away it's like you saw something for what it really was and you decided to remove your energy and you removing your energy actually hurt this person more than you may even realize like this is someone who's grieving over you this is someone who you know they they feel so pessimistic and they may even blame themselves you know um but you know it's, it's like this person may not tell you that because we're seeing someone who has a bit of an ego so they may not want you to know how heartbroken and how much in despair they are over this and over you but you are being seen as someone who's freed yourself with the nine of cups they're feeling as if you're better without them you know almost like you made the right decision by leaving them behind uh like you deemed them as a waste of time or you deem them as toxic or not 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 good for you and as a result you've seemed to have found your happiness and your fulfillment elsewhere like you're living your best life without them and this does make them feel bad about themselves like this is someone who has guilt and remorse and regret so let's clarify these cards uh cancer Okay, so we have the Hermit and this is Virgo energy. So yeah, it looks like you've removed your energy. There's something here about being in separation, um, taking time for yourself. It, it doesn't even look like you moved on to another relationship. It looks more like you're in this energy of self-love, introspection, healing, uh, really putting yourself first, you know, um, and taking time for yourself, spending time in isolation, learning from your experience, being mature, and not engaging in low vibrational things okay so let's see we have the nine of swords in the reverse air energy the king of swords air energy and the ace of pentacles earth energy so they, they this person truly believes you've leveled up since you left them um they may even frame it as if you look down on them now uh like you think you're you're, you're above them or you're better than them you know there's something here about them seeing you as cold aloof detached and unemotional towards them even strict you know like you've put up some sort of boundaries and yeah it makes them feel bad about themselves um with the nine of swords in the reverse it's like you're protecting your peace 
you're you're not losing sleep over this situation you're not engaging in this situation because it may put you in a bad space mentally it could give you a lot of anxiety and distress and you may not want to engage in that so this person does feel that you're distancing yourself you're detaching they are apologetic though but they are seeing you as possibly you know you know it's like you're taking time for yourself but when you do move on you're gonna want to level up you, you would move towards a more high value high quality kind of relationship and they feel as if you don't view them as high quality anymore okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you uh cancer we have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius so this person does feel exposed um, they do feel as if you are detached you've become cold towards them Okay, so we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, we have strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened. Vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Cancer. Okay, so we have surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.